Hello everyone, I am Dr. Deepika Malik. In this session, we will discuss immunoelectrophoresis. It is a laboratory technique used to separate and identify proteins based on their antigenic properties and electrophoretic mobility. It combines electrophoresis with immunodiffusion, allowing the visualization of antigen-antibody interactions and the separation of complex mixture of proteins. The technique is based on the principle of antigen-antibody reactions and their migration in an electric field. It is a process of combination of electrophoresis, which is the movement of charged particles in a gel under the influence of an electric field, and immunodiffusion, which is a technique for detecting or measuring antibodies and antigens by their precipitation when diffused together through a gel. Now let's discuss the principle of immunoelectrophoresis. Antigens that are proteins of interest and antibodies, specific proteins that bind to these antigens, form stable complexes when they come into contact. Gel electrophoresis, a flat gel usually agaros is prepared containing well for sample loading. The gel is placed in an electrophoresis apparatus. Sample application, the antigen mixture is applied to the well in the gel. Electrophoresis and electric field is applied across the gel causing the antigens to migrate based on their charge and size. Negatively charged antigens move towards the positive electrodes that is anode. Antibody wells. Parallel to the antigen well, a trough, a long narrow well is cut into the gel. The trough is filled with antiserum that is a blood derived fluid that contains antibodies against a specific antigen or group of antigens. Diffusion. As electrophoresis proceeds, the antigen molecules diffuse to form precipitin lines where they encounter antibodies. These lines are called precipitin arcs and represent the areas of interaction between antigen and their specific antibodies. Some diffusion of antibodies can also occur, however, it happens at a slower rate compared to the migration of smaller antigens. The gel matrix sieving effect limits the extent of antibody diffusion. Migration, the precipitin arcs will form at different positions along the gel, depending on the size, charge and specific antigen-antibody interactions. The distance of migration can provide information about the relative molecular weights of antigens. Visualization, after electrophoresis, the gel is typically stained to visualize the protein bands and arcs Staining methods can vary, including Comassi Brilliant Blue or immunostaining for enhanced sensitivity. The next slide discusses interpretation of results. The presence of elliptical precipitin arcs represents antigen antibody interactions. The absence of the formation of precipitate suggests no reaction. Different antigen or proteins can be identified based on the intensity, shape, and position of the precipitation lines. The position of each precipitin arc corresponds to the interaction between an antigen and its specific antibody. The distance of migration of the precipitin arc provides information about the antigen's relative size and electrophoretic mobility. The technique allows the qualitative and semi-quantitative analysis of multiple antigens in a single sample. Applications of immunoelectrophoresis Antibody characterization, it is used to characterize antibodies present in serum or other biological samples by electrophoretically separating the proteins in the sample and then forming immunodiffusion against specific antibodies, the presence and quantity of different antibody classes, example immunoglobin G, M and A can be determined. This technique provides information about the immune response and antibody profile of an individual. Antigen detection. Immunoelectrophoresis can be used to detect and quantify specific antigens in a sample. Antigen containing samples such as serum or cell lysates are electrophoresed and then an antibody specific to the target antigen is added to the gel. If the antigen is present, it forms a precipitin line where it meets the antibody indicating the presence and approximate concentration. This technique is valuable for diagnosing infectious disease or monitoring the level of specific antigens in clinical samples. Immunodeficiency evaluation. Electrophoresis can be employed to evaluate immunodeficiencies by analyzing the levels of different antibody classes and subclasses in serum. Abnormalities in the immune system can be identified. 
changes in the antibody profile may indicate deficiencies in antibody production or impaired immune response aiding in the diagnosis of immunodeficiency disorders autoimmune disease diagnostics Immunoelectrophoresis is used to detect autoantibodies associated with autoimmune diseases. The technique allows for the separation and identification of autoantibodies against specific antigens present in the patient's serum or other biological fluids. This information helps in diagnosing autoimmune disorders such as rheumatoid arthritis or autoimmune hepatitis. Allergy testing Immunoelectrophoresis can be used in allergy testing to identify allergens that trigger allergic reactions. By electrophoresing a mixture of allergens and then adding a patient's serum to the gel, the presence of specific immunoglobin E antibodies against antigens can be detected. This information assists in diagnosing allergies and determining appropriate treatment options. Quality control and biotechnology Immunoelectrophoresis is utilized in the biotechnology industry to assess the purity and quality of recombinant proteins or monoclonal antibodies by comparing the migration pattern of the target protein against reference standards the presence of contaminants or variants can be identified ensuring the consistency and efficacy of biopharmaceutical products so with this we wind up the topic immunoelectrophoresis thank you